a new year and it is time for new morning menus. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys what we have set up for our morning menu time this year, how I'm laying it out, how I'm changing things up with having older kids and how it almost didn't happen. So let's get started. It's true, morning menus has been part of our homeschool journey for a long time. Before it was morning menus, we had a morning basket, which is essentially the idea of coming together usually in the morning, but it could be at different times in the day and sharing together in learning. This is such a neat opportunity to be able to come together and to have some camaraderie as a family to be able to start your day on a good fresh start and to be able to cover maybe different topics, subjects, or curriculum that you wouldn't normally have time for. Now that sounds great. So why were we about to pull the plug on it if it sounds so great? Well, you see, we have high schoolers this year, two high schoolers and a middle schooler, and their workload is extensive. Definitely their schoolwork has increased, but not just their schoolwork, also their commitments. They have commitments at church, social activities that they are doing. They work for other people doing odd jobs here and there. And I was getting worried about the time crunch. The fact is that I didn't want to let this go, but I felt like I needed to until I actually did a workshop in Made to Homeschool on morning menus and morning baskets. You see, Made to Homeschool is my personal community and I host workshops there often. And a lot of people were asking, what is morning basket time? What is morning menu time? And it's a huge passion of mine. So I was excited to share that with my community, what it is, why you might wanna do it, what you could include in it. And after doing that workshop, I was like, I can't, I can't give it up. I have to make this work. So I realized that while I did want to continue doing our morning menu time, I also had to balance that with understanding that time is very, very limited in our home. And so I came up with this plan. I decided that this year we would continue to do our morning menu time but I drastically decided to pare it down and make it a little bit more focused on the things that were most important to me and kept things simple. So let's take a look inside. As you can see, all of my menus say learning menu instead of morning menu. And that's because we sometimes have to move around what time of day we actually do this for. And I have some kids who are very literal and don't like the fact that it says morning when we don't always get to it in the morning. But what I did this year and when it came to paring down and making things simple is prioritize. I simplified what we were doing and expounded on some of the things that were routine. So what I mean by that is I have our Bible memory work. We're going to work this year on memorizing the armor of God, but I didn't want to just memorize the armor of God. I wanted to memorize the verses kind of going up to that. So we're going to start with Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Then we'll move to the other passages that cover the armor of God. And I have my printable here. You guys can get those at lifeinthemundane.com if you want. They're totally free, um, but sort of a visual that we use and we read through that every single day. Then we go to our feelings chart. This might look familiar, but I've actually modified it and have included it in a brand new printable pack on my Etsy store that you guys can check out. So each day my kids are now going to identify their emotions with some modifications to my previous one. But we're also going to talk about things that affect our emotions. So they're going to pick what is their emotion for the day. They're going to identify what are some of the things that might be affecting my emotions right now. And then we're going to talk about truths. Now, this used to all be on one chart. And that's part of the way I'm simplifying this is that I wanted to kind of beef it up, so to speak, but also have separate charts for each of these. We've included way more truths than what were on the previous one. And my kids will share a truth that relates to their emotion. I love this opportunity to dive into this topic and to help my kids understand that our emotions aren't always true, that they can lie to us sometimes. And so we need to compare them to truth and also be aware of those factors that could be affecting it. We then go into their poetry time. Now they, we use IEW's poetry program and I'll leave links to all of this down in the description below. And with this, I copy from that particular program, I copy into Canva a couple of poems for us to work on this month. So we're working on There Was an Old Person Whose Habits and we're working on Jonathan Bing. So we will just work on, we're working on this one right now. Once we master it, we'll go on to this one. And then we are going to pray for Uganda. We pray for the persecuted church each and every month. And I have free printables up on my website um, for these prayers every single month. And we go through and we just pray for the country. It's got a few different um, ideas on how you can pray for them. And um, we'll take turns. So one day I'll pray for one something on here. Um, another day I'll have the older girls, then the younger girls. 
and then the boys um, each separate days just to kind of keep it a little shorter and more focused. And then finally, we're ending up with our daily reminders. Every year, I kind of change these up. These are things I want to help them remember and help them focus on. And they're usually based on things that I maybe see kids struggling with in our homeschool. So I've modified this. And again, this is up on my website completely free, but we will read through this at the end of every day. For those of you who have seen previous videos of what's in my morning menu, you're probably thinking, wow, Katie, that's not much. And I honestly considered not even sharing it this year because it is so simple. It's a lot of things we've done in the past with a few modifications but it's also a lot less than what we've done in the past. And I felt like it was important to come and share that with you because I feel like there are a lot of these traditions or these things that we hold in our homeschool that we love and we enjoy. And we either feel like we have to completely get rid of it or we have to keep doing it the way we always have. So I'm sharing this with you today. Yes, to share some cool printables and fun things that you can maybe use in your homeschool, but also to encourage you that if there is something, whether it's morning menus or something else, that you are wanting to continue to do in your homeschool, but your homeschool looks different because your kids are getting older or different dynamics have changed, you can do that. You can modify those things. We used to have read alouds be a part of this time or Bible or history or science. Um, we used to include a lot of different things as part of this time in here doing a hymn study or something. I know I just needed to kind of pare it down and I wanted to focus predominantly on memorizing God's word, being able to talk through the importance of understanding emotions and truths, being able to pray for the persecuted church and have good reminders to set us apart. Now the poetry I did go back and forth on because honestly, it's not a huge priority in my homeschool for myself. However, my kids really enjoy the poetry. They laugh, they giggle. It's just something fun, lighthearted, and it takes just a few minutes. So that was something I wanted to include for them. Will we include more in the future in our morning menus for this year? Maybe, but I'm gonna give myself the grace and the time and the patience to be able to get into the year a little bit, to maybe even complete the semester before we even consider adding a significant more amount for next year. This is just one of the many things we do in our homeschool day. And if you wanna see how we organize these and other supplies for our homeschool, be sure to check out my homeschool room tour here.